Hello everyone. Welcome to Live Science Live Back. Today we are talking about a different topic that is plant growth substances. This is your 7th unit of grade 9 science syllabus. This is a property of Live Science Live. So don't copy. Students, this is for your individual learning. You can self study using this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Live Science Live. Let's start. So first of all, I want to tell you what is a plant growth substance. Chemical compounds which regulate the growth of a plant are known as plant growth substances. Some growth substances promote the growth of a plant while some inhibits the growth of a plant. Some plant growth substances that promote the growth of plants are auxins, gibberellins and cytokinins. Under your grade 9 syllabus, we have to talk about these three chemicals auxins, gibberellins and cytokinin. They are also known as plant hormones. So let's talk about auxins. Auxin is a growth promoting hormone in plants. It is produced in the tips of shoots and plant roots. Here you can see in red arrows I am showing you the shoot apex and the root apex, tip of the shoot and the tip of the root. Auxins stimulate cell elongation in stem and root. Stem apex turn towards light due to dissimilar cell elongation of stem. We all know that plants curve towards sunlight but we don't know the reason. So let's learn why plants bend towards sunlight. In the first diagram you can see that auxin is produced in the tip of the shoot apex. When light falls, auxins diffuse downwards. That is, auxin travels downwards. Collection of auxin in areas where intensity of light is low. You can see that in the second diagram. Light is falling into the right side, so auxins are collected into the left side. As auxins are collected in the left side, cell elongation increases in the left part. So, that part shows a high growth rate than the right side. Therefore, we can observe that the plant is bending towards the sunlight. This is that story. Auxin is produced in shoot apex. Produced auxins diffuse downwards. When sunlight falls onto shoot, auxins collects in the side with low light intensity. That is, auxin moves to the darker side of the plant. It causes the cells there to grow longer than corresponding cells on the other side of the plant. This causes a curving of the plant stem tip towards the light. Let's see how it happens. Here you can see an orchid plant bending towards the sunlight. Now you know the reason this is caused by the plant growth substance Auxin. This type of a movement is known as 
a positive phototrophic movement. Oxin has another function on plants. Oxin inhibits the growth of lateral buds. In the first diagram you can see lateral buds are not growing as the apical bud is growing well. This process is called as apical dominance. In the second diagram the apical bud has pruned, has cut off. So you can see what happens. All lateral buds are growing nicely. So the plant has become a bush. We have to prune the shoot apex to make it a bushy plant. If we cut off the shoot apex, the plant will become a bush like this. We can obtain bushy plants like this. Number 2. After auxins, we are going to talk about gibberellins. Gibberellins promotes mainly the elongation of the stem and growth of the fruits. Here you can see untreated grapes in the right hand of this person and treated with gibberellin fruits in his left hand. You can see the difference. Here, normal cabbages are shown in the left side but cabbages treated with gibberellins is shown by the left right side so what is your idea about this type of cabbage third plant growth substance we are going to talk is cytokinins it accelerates the cell division growth of flowers leaves Fruits and roots get accelerated by cytokinin. It stimulates seed germination and delay plant aging. This is a property of live science life, so don't use to copy. Let's continue. Fruits and leaves fell down from the plants when matured. We know that matured all fruits and leaves are falling down from plants. The reason for that is the formation of an abscission layer. The reason for making abscission layer is when matured the amount of growth substances reduces in fruits and leaves. Okay, these are some fruits fallen down. These are some leaves fallen down. This video is a property of live science life, so don't try to copy. Here you can see the abscission layer. When this leaf gets matured, the abscission layer forms in the place where I am showing using the red arrow. So it used to detach from the stem and fell down. This happens also to fruits when they get matured. Okay, from our live science live, we are going to discuss the last part of the lesson that is artificial growth substances. They are used in horticulture and growing of ornamental plants. Here are some artificial growth substances and their use. 2,4-DPA and 2,4-5-DPA are used as a broadleaf weedicide for paddy fields. IAA and IBA are used as to increase root formation of stem cuttings and to grow fruits quickly. NAA to prevent premature fruit drop to induce flowering in pineapple in off-season. Cytosol 
is used to get mango fruits in the off season so these are the artificial growth substances we have to discuss under our syllabus the lesson is over from this part uh, so this is also a really really simple lesson let's try to do these exercises which are present in your textbooks they are so simple you can get answers by referring to your textbook and listening to my voice and video so i think you've learned this lesson easily simply and interestingly also attractively this is for students self studying process and also it is a property of live science life please don't copy everybody please subscribe our youtube channel live science live goodbye see you again with a fresh video Goodbye. Thank you.